Hello and welcome to this unit in which we are going to look at J.C. Ransom or John Crow Ransom's concept of texture. And I'm Dr. Shayanti Talwar, who will be taking you through this concept. So let us first look at uh, John Crow Ransom as a literary uh, figure and a foremost uh, one of the foremost thinkers of new criticism and propounders of this critical approach. John Crow Ransom was born in the year 1888 and he passed on in 1974. He was an American educator, scholar, a literary critic, a poet, an essayist and an editor. So we could attribute the term versatile genius to him. He was multi multifaceted, right? And he is also uh, considered to be the founder of uh, new criticism of or the new critical uh, approach to studying uh, literature, especially poetry. Uh, John Crow Ransom published a series of essays entitled The New Criticism in the year 1941. And amongst these, the most influential essay uh, turned out to be Criticism Inc., uh, which was published in the world's body in the year 1938, which took the literary uh, world by storm and people started getting influenced by this work. Now, what was this essay all about? It was inspired or motivated by the desire to make literary criticism, and I quote, more scientific or precise and systematic. So literary criticism needed to be more empirical. It needed to be more factual, more rooted in a tangible kind of tenets rather than an impressionistic approach to criticism. So there was a complete shift. There was a paradigm shift, in fact. What he, uh, Ransom was suggesting was an ideological and a paradi paradigm shift and an academic shift from historical scholarship to aesthetic appreciation and understanding, looking at the body of the poem for what it is and not looking at extraneous uh, factors, not taking into consideration elements that are external to the actual text, to the actual linguistic body of the poem. Because Ransom believed that, the, that a critic must study literature and not study about literature. So most of the time he believed what critics ended up doing was that instead of focusing on the text, they focused on various uh, factors which could have influenced the text. So he said, instead of that, let's just look at the text. So in Ransom's case, the focal point, the focus, the, uh, the, the scanner is on the actual literary text. And this is, um, uh, this is going to become, when Ransom proposes this, it is going to become a method of literary analysis that will become the foundation that all modern approaches built upon. So it would gain popularity in due course of time and it would uh, leave quite an impression in the world of criticism. Now, let us understand what Ransom meant by texture and this was with respect to poetry. So his concept of texture uh, was a tool of literary analysis and uh, a critical approach primarily to study poetry. Now, what was this? Texture referred to the organic essence of the poem, not the politics of subject content or plot narrative. Like I said, not extraneous factors, but factors that are inherent, that are inside the poem as it appears to us on the page. So whatever, the words tell us, not going outside the main narrative of the poem, the main text of the poem, but just looking at the composed poem, the composed creative piece and analyzing it without taking into account whatever cultural factors may have influenced it. Right. So what are these factors, basically? What are these intrinsic factors inside the poem? So he said they, these could be organic elements mainly in relation to imagery, metaphor, and simile 